Hello everybody, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. And don't worry, it's not Sunday, it's actually Monday. And I am celebrating my 16th anniversary with Stampin' Up! this week on Thursday. So I thought this would be just a great opportunity to, first of all, share some more fabulous ideas with you. Um, I'm planning on doing a few lives this week and lots of giveaways. So, <clears throat> hi Robin, <clears throat> excuse me, Lisa Bev, welcome. Um, I just thought I'd come on and share some cute ideas with you. I found some more cards that I'm absolutely in love with. And as celebration is winding down, I'm looking at my calendar. I'm like, oh my Lord, we've only got, as of tomorrow, two weeks left of celebration. That's crazy, right? Hi, Terry, Sandy, Tammy, Charlene, welcome. Um, but I'm not ready to be done with celebration. So I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to share with you guys and... With everything that's going on crazy in the world right now, I just thought maybe doing a little stamping would make us all a little happier. It's kind of a stress reliever, right? <laughs> I know it is. Hi, Karen, Heather, Laura, welcome. So I'm gonna pull my um, video up on my screen so I can see your comments once I flip around. I see Lisa Mary is here. Hi, Sandy, Kathy. And I'm trying to find my live right now, and there I am. And I've got my mute on so I don't have to listen to myself twice. Once of Kelly is enough. <laughs> Double Kelly, crazy town. Yeah, so um, by the way, you guys, thank you to everyone for all the well wishes for Steve. He is feeling much better today. Like he's, I'd say, almost 100%. Oh, my Lord, he was so sick. I felt so bad for him. Let's just keep our fingers crossed that I can ward that off. Um, I have a usually a really good immune system, and I can remember at one point where we had four kids living here with us, and everybody in the house was sick throwing up, and I was taking care of everybody and all of that, and I never got it. So, yeah, I've, I've got guts of steel, meaning I can eat just about anything, and... Um, I don't usually get too sick once in a while. So, did I change my glasses, Nancy? Thank you very much. I did. My new glasses are right here. My old glasses are on my face so I can read what you guys are saying. Connie Billerman, I'm glad you're on. I fixed it. Yay. I got my wobbler fixed. Whoops, let me do it. Yay. I have to be less aggressive with the wobblers, right? If you watched last night, I wrecked my wobbler. Connie sent me that cute little box. Just in case you didn't watch last night, let's take a better look at that. Yeah, is that not just adorable? And I didn't eat my hostess cupcake yet, but you can be guaranteed that I will. Mm, love those. Okay, um, I'm gonna flip the camera around. What I decided to do today is to share with you some, uh, well, it's a cute card idea using, I know this is backwards, but my screen flashes if I mirror it. So once I turn you down to my desk and we start stamping, things won't be backwards. So I apologize for that. Um, it's a, it's a internet thing right now. It'll go away. Anyways, um, I found a super cute card online and I have to give a shout out to Pamela Pick. Um, this was Base, this was her design using the Thoughtful Blooms stamp set and that small bloom punch, which I absolutely love. I love adding little accents of little flowers, so this punch is super cool. Both of these are celebration items, so as of March 31st, they'll no longer be available, but you can get them free with your qualifying order. <laughs> Luann says she's thankful to have stamping to bring some normalcy to your life, and you know what? As I was listening to the news and all the things going on today, I felt the same way. I'm like, you know what? Stamping makes me happy. I know it makes you guys happy. And why not share a little more good things instead of all the crazy, crazy? So that's why we're stamping. 
and I'm not sure what my schedule is the rest of the week. I'm trying to get ready for um, to get my welcome Easter kit out of here, and that's a huge undertaking. I got my order in, everything's set there. Now I have to wait for everything to arrive and start cutting cardstock. And thank you to all of you who ordered that kit because I couldn't have a kit business without people ordering it. So I really do appreciate that. But um, <clears throat> with that schedule, I'm not really sure how often this week I'm going to be able to pop in live, but it is my intention to do it every day. And I will have giveaways every day. Speaking of which, Sending you thoughts, and I know this is backwards. I'll leave it on my desk so you can see it if you haven't yet. I'm sure all of you have probably seen it, but this is going to be my giveaway. So if you're just tuning in, make sure you leave at least one comment, okay, um, so that you'll be entered in the drawing to win. <clears throat> you don't have to watch live to be entered in the drawing. And click that share button. You can click that right now. That really helps me out. And also click the like button because that has something to do with Facebook algorithms algorithms, and all the magic that happens in the internet world that we don't really understand all that much. But <laughs> I just know it's supposed to do good things for you. <laughs> okay. Um, I think I'm going to flip the camera around so we can get started. I have some uh, a really cute layout with the stamp set that I want to share with you. So hang tight. If you get motion sickness, close those eyes and I'll let you know when you can pop them back open. Hi, Joyce LaRock. Welcome. And I see Angela just popped on here too. Here we go. And let me get things situated. Hopefully I don't touch anything and disconnect you because that's happened before. I think only once though. It's a little embarrassing, but I've been known to embarrass myself before. <laughs> That's nothing new. So here is that Sending You Thoughts stamp set that I am going to be um, giving away in a drawing for today's video. And I'll set that right back behind me. This is the Thoughtful Bloom stamp set that we're going to be using to make a set of cards today. And like I said before, I'm using a layout from Pamela Pick. I've changed it up just a little bit to kind of go along with my theme for today. But basically, I got the idea from her. So what I have here, I've got four envelopes. I've got four pieces of Whisper White cardstock. These are all four by five and a quarter. And then I've got four card bases. This is our Whisper White Thick. Who is a fan of the Whisper White Thick for your card bases? Do you guys use the Thick versus regular Whisper White for card bases? I can tell you that I am a big fan of this because this is a lot more sturdy, but this is a lot nicer surface to stamp on. When you use Whisper White cardstock, you get a much better image. The um, card base cardstock is thicker and it's more porous and therefore it doesn't give you as nice of an image when you stamp it as a regular Whisper White does. So um, I'm just checking out my comments here. I am going to be checking. Oh, Becky says she, I, she made cards for each person at her daughter's assisted living facility where she's a nurse and she still has five more to make, so she's loving a new idea. Great, because you're going to love this one. It's super easy, too. And I had somebody ask me on my Facebook Live um, if I would tell people. Yeah, Terry, you can watch this live later. I will um, share it to my page. Um, telling people that a great way to use our skills as stampers is to be making up bright, colorful, maybe spring cards this time of year take them to your nur nursing homes. You're not allowed to go in and visit people, but I'm pretty sure, call first. I don't want to be causing any problems. Call and ask if you can drop off some cards that the staff can share with the people at assisted living or um, nursing homes because they can't have visitors right now and just a card to brighten their day. It's a great way to use your resources and to use your skills as a stamper and, you know, spread that spread the happiness, right? Um, I'm sure that a lot of people are very sad that they're not able to visit with their loved ones. 
Uh, Sharon is asking, is it is it the focus a little blurry or is it her? I can tell you that on my screen right now, I am not blurry. Connie says she loves the Thick Whisper White. I do too, Connie. I'm a big fan of it. And let's see, am I missing? I'm just kind of scrolling through. This is going to be a little more relaxed than Facebook Live. I like to keep that running super quick so that I don't put anybody to sleep. But tonight we're going to be a little more relaxed and uh, not so frantic to get through everything. So just know that. All right, first thing I'm gonna do here, first thing I'm gonna do is find my sample card, which I seem to have misplaced right at the moment. Hang on, oh my Lord, how does that happen? Um, I probably set my, no, nope. oh, here it is. Okay, we're good. Whew, <laughs> that would be a colossal disaster. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna bring in my Memento ink pad. And this little image from the Thoughtful Blooms stamp set. Now, I love little images when Stampin' Up! throws these in. I think they're super fun. And I'm going to stamp this right... Whoops, look at I just got it crooked. Just as I was going to set it down, I moved it. There we go. That looks much better. Okay, then the next thing we're going to do... Well, first of all... I'm making a set, so I'm going to make four cards. They're all going to be the same, but with different colors. So as long as we're still here, I think I'll just go like in an assembly line. And this is a great way for you to be making cards, like if you're going to take them to a nursing home or some other type of facility where people are, you know, being limited, their visitors. This is a great way for you to do this, is to do it in an assembly line fashion. Cut all your cardstock first, and then stamp your first image, your second image, your, you know, so on and so forth. Next, I'm going to bring in my sentiment, and this comes again with the Thoughtful Bloom stamp set. And um, Connie is asking, do you write a note to each person at the assisted living or just sign it? What do you guys, what are your feelings on that? I thought about that a little bit earlier today and I'm like, yeah, would I put a note in each one or just what would I do? Because you're not like giving them the cards so they can send them to somebody. So how would you handle that? And I'm thinking that I, whoops, I would put a note in each one of them and just some type of a note saying, I hope this card brightens your day or, you know, whatever you feel is appropriate. So here's our sentiment, and I'm just kind of putting it a little bit off to the side here of our little, um, whatever you want to call that thing, that cool thing. That's what I'm calling it, the cool thing. Does anybody know what that's called? I don't know what that's called. I am a stamper. I'm not necessarily the keeper of all the definitions, so let's just be clear. <laughs> okay, next thing. So here's what I decided to do. I decided to use our retiring in colors. Number one, it's a good way for me to remind you that all these colors are retiring with our next annual catalog, which comes out in like May or June. I don't even know what the date is. Does somebody know what the date is? May or June. Um, and um, I want you to know this now. It's March. But once these colors are put on that retirement list, everything is gone in a flash. All your cardstock, all your ink, all your reinkers, your in color markers, um, any embellishments that go with them, people buy them up like crazy because let's say their favorite color is pineapple punch. They want to make sure they're going to have enough of all of those supplies to continue to use that once Stampin' Up! does not have it available for sale anymore. So once these in colors go on the retirement list, they're gone in a flash. So I'm telling you in March that if you have a favorite or a couple favorites, I highly recommend you get yourself an extra re-inker so that ink pad can be used for years and years. Also, um, the embellishments... The consumables, ribbon, any type of embellishments. I know we have, I don't know, I don't know what the other, I can't even think right now. Um, cardstock, markers. Some of these, do we have any? I don't think, oh, we have Pineapple Punch in the Stampin' Blend markers. That will be going away. I think we have Lovely Lipstick too. Uh, maybe, I don't think Call Me Clover. Oh, what's this? Yeah, maybe we do. 
Nope, that's shaded spruce. Okay, so anyways, you want to look and see what in-color products we have and see if it's something that you need to add to your arsenal of stamping supplies before they are gone. All right, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to bring out the Call Me Clover. This is our green, and this is going to go with our stems for the flower. So I'm just going to take this and stamp it right here, okay? And I'm going to do that on all the cards. Just like that. This. And one more time, just like this. Okay. Next thing we're going to do, let's bring these back here. We're done with this. Then I'm going to, oh, I need to get out some scraps of paper. I thought I did that, but I did not. So... I'm gonna grab, let's see if I have any little scraps here. Oh, here's a good little scrap. Oh, this one, oh, that's even better. Blueberry bushel. And then we've got Grapefruit Grove. Lovely Lipstick. Pineapple Punch. And the other one is the green one, which we're not going to use for this particular um, deal. Okay, so I've got out my little scraps here. Then I'm going to take and do my pineapple punch card first. So I've got you've got that teeny weeny little flower in there that's stinking adorable. And I'm just going to come in here and stamp that little pineapple punch flower at the end of all of these stems. And it's nice that this stamp set is photopolymer so you can see through it, right? Yeah, let's try that one. There we go. And then one more little flower right over here, just because it's stinking adorable. Now you're gonna have to clean your stamps in between. Next thing I'm going to do is bring in the larger flower and we're going to stamp this on our pineapple punch and punch it out. So I use pineapple punch ink and pineapple punch cardstock. And then I'm going to find some mini dimensionals. See, oops, I got dimensionals everywhere. I got all kinds of dimensionals. Let's see if I have any mini ones. There's the minis. Anytime I start getting lower on, like the sheet is running out, I'll throw it into my bin under my desk um, from my classes and then just pull out a full one again for my classes because classes, um, I don't want to run out while I'm at a class, right? Whereas if I'm at home, it doesn't really matter. Okay, I'm cleaning this off. I cleaned this off, and now, let me think a little bit. I want some little sprinkly things, and I think I'm gonna do the same thing that Pamela did. I'm gonna use Pool Party with these little dotty deals. A lot of times we don't know what to do with those. They're just little accents, and they do really add a lot to your project. It just kind of tones down that white white and now we're ready to put our little flower on. I'm gonna put that right here and we're gonna set this aside. Is that not adorable? Super easy and quick too, right? You can make up a whole set in a whole bunch of different colors. Okay, we're done with pineapple punch. Now I'm gonna bring in my blueberry and here comes our card front again. Oops, I gotta open my blueberry. How about that, Kelly? Let's get this over here so I don't make a mistake. Here comes, I gotta stand up again. Do you guys stand or sit when you're stamping? I know some people that stand. I am a sitter. I sit on my butt all day long. That's what I do. I always say that too. It's like I sit, sit, sit. I am a sitter. But then when you have to get your head over stuff and I don't wanna stick my head in the camera, right? Then I need to stand up. Okay, we're gonna clean this. Oh, nope, we're not done yet. We need one more blueberry bushel little flower right there. Okay, then we're going to bring in that pool party again. And we're going to stamp that around in some of these white spots. Just like that, okay? 
okay I'll put that in there so I don't mess anything up um, then we're gonna stamp our blue flower by the end when we're on our fourth card I should have this whole um, system down <laughs> you guys notice that I'm still fumbling and it's my second card yeah well you know it is what it is right Woo! there we go and here comes another dimensional Oops. I was wondering if I can go get my nails done this week and I know that that's like small world problems right um, it's pretty insignificant but I do need to do that this week because my nails are getting too long and uh, I might be doing my own nails that's not gonna be pretty I'm not gonna lie okay isn't that cool another really pretty one I'm gonna set that off to the side now we're gonna come in with the Oh, I should be doing something on the inside of my cards. We have time. I'll go back and do that. <laughs> We're going to come in with the Grapefruit Grove. And I've got my little flower, and I've cleaned it off already. Grapefruit. Oh, shoot. Did you see what I did? Ah, uh, that didn't turn out very good, did it? Well, I'll fix it. Fix it means I'll turn it over and stamp on the other side. Is this the same one I messed up the black line with? one right here and then I'm not gonna forget to do this one over here there we go should I just start over with that one you think yep I think I should because we can we can do that this is easy remember there's our black line here comes our call me clover I have that inked up good there we go here comes our sentiment you really should do the sentiment before you do the green part because you want to make sure that fits in there but being that I've done a few of these I think I'm okay <laughs> okay we'll start over with our little flower I'm gonna do this one first this ink pad seems to be a little dry that's not why I screwed it up though, so I'm not making excuses. I just was didn't push my stamp down all the way. And hooray! I did it. Okay, next we've got our grapefruit grove here. Alright. Somebody said that grapefruit grove they love grapefruit grove I do too I think it's a really pretty color and I'm really gonna miss it because we don't really have anything like it do we yeah it's it's gonna be missed but I'm excited about the new colors that are coming so for those of you that may not know every year Stampin Up retires the older set of the in colors there's five of them and then they um, bring out five new colors and that allows Stampin Up to stay trendy with their colors because you don't want to be using outdated colors um, in our industry. You have to keep things fresh and trendy and stylish. So isn't that pretty? What do you guys think of that one? I love that one. I'm glad I redid it because that would have really bugged me. Last but not least, one of my favorite colors. I don't use this enough, but it's lovely lipstick and it's just a pretty color going to clean my stamp off and make sure that I get this little bugger cleaned off too. Here comes our lovely lipstick and I'm going to stamp all my little flowers. Yeah, I love this one. Look, at I'm sitting. I'm not even standing up. Let's see if I can do this decent. Well, that one wasn't that good. Maybe I'll stand up. <laughs> there we go. That, that was better. Okay, that looks great. I did that one, okay. Then we are going to do our big flower. Now when you stamp these, you wanna make sure you have two petals down here in like the seven and the five o'clock region because that's the way that your punch fits in here. Otherwise you're going like this and that makes me crazy. 
So I always tend to look at a stamp and then look at the punch and see where I need to stamp that to be successful when I punch it out. And here comes this one. Oops, get that on there. There we go. Here comes lovely lipstick. Isn't that cute? Oh my goodness, you guys. Did somebody tell me I forgot the blue dots? I completely forgot the blue dots. So let's see if I can do this without messing it up. Do you see the difference? If you like this with the stark white versus putting the blue dots in, this is the time to really take a look at it and go, hmm. I like the blue dots. So, since these are my cards, I'm gonna put the blue dots in them. You can do whatever you want with your cards. But my cards are gonna have blue dots. Okay, next, let's get this out of the way here. I told you that I should have been stamping the insides of my cards, and we'll do that in just a minute. First, I'm gonna take all of these, and I happen to have some basic rhinestone jewels here. That's what Stampin' Up! calls their rhinestones. They're, they're called Rhinestone Basic Jewels. I don't know why they all have a long name, but they're diamonds. And diamonds are a girl's best friend, aren't they? <laughs> yes, they are. So, there we go. Did I ever show you guys? My husband bought me a new wedding ring. Mine broke. And it was really old and scratchy and whatever. So he bought me this new um, wedding ring, but it doesn't fit on that finger. And I have just not taken the time to go to the jeweler and get it resized. Look at that. I didn't know if I'd like that pineapple punch. But anyways, for our anniversary, our anniversary is July 4th. And we were married, let's see, Haley's going to be 26. So we've been married for 27 or something years. I don't even know. I can never keep track. She keeps telling me, Ma, I think it's one year older than her. <laughs> she keeps telling me that, but I can't. I can never remember. But anyways, um, yeah, he surprised me with that ring. Like, I had no idea that he was getting me a new ring. He surprised me with it for our anniversary this summer. We went up to a cottage on a lake with friends and that was his big surprise and I was shocked because that's not like him to do something like that. So bless his little heart, right? Yeah, he's pretty good. <laughs> okay, so we've got all of our card bases here and now I'm going to, oh, I don't want to dip my card in that, find my glue. Oh, Anne said you forgot the dots. Thank you, Anne. I, it's hard for me to see the messages that are coming across here, but you're absolutely right. I did forget the dots. Thank you for paying attention because I would have totally missed them. Now, if you wanted to, you could put your card on a colored card base, but I really like the clean and crisp look of this on a white card base. Or you could cut this layer a little smaller and put a very thin layer of the color of cardstock on each one. That would have been a really probably good idea. Um, but I like this. I just like it. It's clean. It's crisp. It's simple. There's not a lot going on. We've got enough happening with all the pops of color in the flowers. And when you find something that you really like, you don't have to do much to change it, right? And that's why I wanted to make sure everybody knows this is Pam's card, not mine. And I can't remember what I changed, actually, but it was minuscule. Um, yeah. Okay, so here's our pretty little cards. Look at that. Pineapple Punch. Which one is your favorite? Got Pineapple Punch. Lovely Lipstick. Grapefruit Grove, Blueberry Buckle, it's bushel, but I call it buckle. Remember Blueberry Buckle was a baby food dessert in the little jars? What are they even, what, Gerber, Blueberry Buckle? Yeah, well, this is Blueberry Bushel. And then I used also the retiring Call Me Clover for my leaves. Yeah, pretty cool, right? Okay, so the next thing that I wanted to do here. Um, which I should have done at the same time, but well, you know, thinking all of that ahead is hard. I just want to put a little flower in here. So I'm going to do that in each one of our colors. 
And let me whip these open really quick. Make sure my stamp is clean. We need blueberry. Do you guys do this? I'll clean a stamp and then I'll do this just to make sure there's no residue on it. Here comes our blueberry flower again. And here's our grapefruit grove flower. And again. And here is our pineapple punch. That is just such a brilliant yellow, isn't it? Okay, so we've got all these pretty cards. Now, if you're planning on making a gift set like this, one thing we could do, let me, um, I'm looking for some of my acetate boxes here. Oh, I know I have a package. Here's a package that's open. This is just a little side thought. If you wanted to, I don't know if you could put this in a half a box. Okay, I already cut this in half with my paper cutter. I just go back and forth until it cuts in half. But I'm wondering if we could do something kind of fun with this and make a little gift set. I didn't plan this, so it could be a colossal disaster. But we have all these envelopes. <laughs> as long as I was stamping the insides of those cards, it would have been brilliant, perhaps, Kelly, to stamp the envelope too because people like pretty envelopes, right? Oh, did I already do that color? I did, where's my other? Oh, here we go, we gotta do this one. And pineapple. So I did this all kind of bass backwards, didn't I? <laughs> can I say that online? I think I can, yeah. You guys know what I mean. <laughs> it happens. Okay, scrolling up. And what did Deb say? I missed what Deb said. I'm going to go back and see what Deb said. Wait, what? Monday night? Yes, exactly. I know, a little impromptu. So if you came on a little later, I am celebrating my 16th anniversary with Stampin' Up! this week. Actually, the 19th is my 16-year anniversary. And I thought I'd just come on, and I think I'm going to try to come on every day this week. I'm going to do giveaways. And it's a way for me to share a little happiness and also to thank all of you for your continued support because you, maybe you do know, but I, I just want you to know, I always feel like you don't know how important you are to me and my small business. So look at this, this is a half of an acetate box. Now something we could do is we could take, you guys know that this in color, um, these in colors that are retiring, we have all of these ribbons. They're also going to be retiring. Oh, I don't know if I have the lovely lipstick one. Where is that? Maybe I ran out. But um, yeah, anyways, all these ribbons, so you could wrap some designer paper around here. You could make a little belly band. And I'm thinking if we did that, you could just pull this ribbon around here, wrap it around your belly band, and tie it in a little bow. Let's see how good I could do. You could, of course, do this in a full acetate box also, but I just thought this was kind of cute. I'm going to tie this in a knot because I don't have anybody here to give me the finger. <laughs> did I just say that? I did say that, didn't I? You know what I mean, the finger. <laughs> Not the naughty finger. Where is your mind at? Guys, right in the gutter. Oh, or I could put the, Donna said I could put the um, ribbon on here to vertically hold it in place. Well, that's a great idea too, Donna. You're brilliant. Pretty smart cookie there. I like it. Okay, so there we go. Cute little, cute little gift set. You could put this in a cello bag and tie it and uh, put a tag on it. Or, I mean, this is just minuscule what I did here. But um, I think what Donna's getting at. Oh, look what I just did there. I tied it in a knot. So <laughs> sometimes my genius shows, doesn't it? Mm, yeah. This is kind of the behind the scenes stuff that you guys never. <laughs> Ever see. <laughs> okay, so Donna was kind of saying 
that I could take it and wrap it this way to keep the cards in the half box. And I think that's a brilliant idea. And then tie it right here in a little bow. Let's see if I can do a bow without a finger. I know any one of you would give me the finger, wouldn't you? <laughs> to hold the bow. <laughs> yeah. Little shenanigans going on tonight. Let's see. There we go. Oh, I did pretty good. It's hard to hold that tight. Anyways, you guys know how to decorate up a box, right? This is kind of cute. I look, actually, I'm going to actually cut that. And I'm going to call it a day. I think that's pretty cute. So there we go. Um, in colors, don't forget, these are all five of them are retiring with our new annual catalog. So you want to make sure that if you have favorites here or some that you really go to, like there's no other color like this blue that we have, right? Um, you might want to stock up on cardstock, ink pads, or reinker, or marker, or ribbon to match. It's a really good idea. Oh, thanks, you guys, for the happy anniversary wishes. I appreciate it. And there's lovely lipstick, too. I don't know why I have two green, but I don't have any lovely lipstick. Or pineapple. Oh, I do have pineapple punch. My pineapple's right here, which means my lovely lipstick is someplace. But yeah, isn't that pretty? It's just like the most vibrant yellow ever. That is pineapple punch, right? Yeah. Okay, there we go. In colors. I don't want you to be caught in the retirement and not get what you need to hold you through all your card making. Yeah. Did anybody see the bag these came in? Oh, on the floor which by the way oh my lord I need to vacuum my floor is disgusting I did do some cleaning this morning um, every Monday morning I do a conference call I do training with somebody and um, every Monday morning while everybody else in the group is talking I'm cleaning up my office so I did get my office cleaned up except I didn't sweep and it's pretty gross do you guys have an icky floor in your office like or studio or whatever. Yeah. Mine is, oh, somebody just asked, Debbie just asked, how is Steve? Steve is great. Hang on. I'm going to flip you guys around. We're going to wiggle here for a little bit. Yay. So I'm not talking to the back of your head. I hate that. Um, Steve is doing really, really good. Actually, my crown almost fell off. <laughs> um, I'm going to answer you in just a second, Diane. Um, he's actually working a little bit on the room that we just had remodeled. He took the shelves out of the closet and he's washing them. He washed the ceiling fan. He washed the window. He's going to paint the trim that's on the inside of the window, not the wall part. Um, cause that needs to be touched up a little bit. And, um, so he's feeling a lot better, like a lot better. And, uh, oh, Kim just laid carpet in her office. It's always nice to have new refreshing things, isn't it? And Diane asked if we use Whisper White. So did you use thick cardstock for your whole card? Nope. I never, if I can avoid it, I do not stamp on the thick cardstock. Um, I, I like to add a layer to the front of it. Sometimes I will stamp on it. It just depends. But most of the time, I'm always putting layers on it. So this is our real Whisper White cardstock. Not the thick stuff, but the card base is thick. So yeah, you get a much nicer image when you stamp on our Whisper White versus thick. But the thick cardstock is a great card base. So I do love those. And um, yeah, one other thing that I wanted to tell you, as well as long as I'm talking about stuff like that, Sometimes we have products that aren't my favorite, and I know that's kind of hard to believe because I say I love everything, but if you don't see me use a product, it's either because I don't own it or I haven't had great success with it, and I always figure if I can't use something, you know, to get a good end result, I'm not going to show you how to not get a good end result either, right? So just something to keep in mind. I will if if I don't like something, you'll I'll let you know cuz I think that as um stampers and crafters, we need to always be honest with each other, right? Yeah. Okay, let me see if my phone isn't scrolling again. Hmm. Yes, Debbie, he really is feeling a lot better in um 
he's a busy guy. Like he keeps himself busy. Um, he's got a schedule and he, I think things are going to get a little crazy. I just heard him say something. He's like, bro. Um, things are going to get a little crazy here too, because he usually goes to the gym every day and he's not going to the gym because he wants to kind of avoid the whole germy thing. So, oh, and Nina's husband is rearranging the garage. My husband spends a lot of time in his garage. <laughs> he does. We have a bow um, target in the backyard, so he will stand inside the garage and practice with his bow. He spends a lot of time doing that. Yeah. And, oh, Kimberly just got a new hardwood floor in her craft room. We put, oh, I was going to bring that sample in here so I could show you my new flooring in, in the bedroom upstairs. We put in a laminate wood flooring. Um, I would love to put in real wood, but it's just so expensive, and I just really don't think that we can get it back out of this house if we happen to sell it. Right now, Haley's planning on buying our house when we're ready to move um, to raise her family in. She wants our swimming pool, which I don't blame her. That's why I, that's why I bought the house. We bought the house is for the pool. But um, I just don't think that if we had to sell it, we could get the money out of it because our house is 120 years old and people say, oh, it must be so charming. No, it's not charming. <laughs> There's nothing charming about it. It's just an old house <laughs> that we're now fixing up. So that's always nice. Thanks, Jody. Jody says, glad to hear Steve is feeling better. I'm just scrolling up on my screen here and I'm missing some stuff. Um, and Marilyn said, not all products are for everyone. That's right. They're, they're not. Um, absolutely not. There are certain things that I'm like, meh, that's just not my style. It's not what makes me happy. Yeah, I know, you guys. Everything's shutting down. I think it's going to be that way for a couple weeks at least. And that's why I want to keep things positive and happy here. I want this to be a happy place for you to get away from the pandemonium that is our lives right now. Yeah, because I think it's going to grate on your nerves and, um, and I'm not downplaying the seriousness of this situation in any way, shape, or form, but I want to be a happy place. So, Diana says this isn't your normal time, is it? I'm usually on Sunday nights at 7 p.m., but we're celebrating my anniversary this week and I think we all need a little more happy with everything going on in the world. We need a little more stamping to, it's, stamping is great therapy. So consider me your therapy. I'm hoping to be on live every day. I'm just gonna pop in at random times because if I, like tomorrow I have a dentist appointment so I probably couldn't be on at the same time as I could today and so on. I'm just gonna be popping in randomly. I will post that happy anniversary graphic that I just made on my um, Facebook, page and let you know that I'll be uh, live in 15 minutes. So I'm going to keep it light and make sure that it doesn't create a lot of chaos for me to have to schedule my day around a time every day. Yeah. All right, you guys. I am going to let you go. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, again, if you can make cards, call your local nursing homes and ask them. If you made up some cards, could you drop them off for the residents because they can't get any visitors. It's a great way to use your craft. It's a great way to pay it forward and do something nice for somebody else. It's a great way to share our love for stamping to brighten somebody's day. There you go. Have yourselves a great Monday. Leave a comment. I will enter you in a drawing. I am giving away the Sending You Thoughts stamp set. And um, I will be doing the drawing for this. I'll have it done when I come on live again, hopefully tomorrow. All right, you guys. See you later. Bye-bye.